What's going on guys? It's the Beastly Gamer and welcome back to the channel. And sometimes guys, good things come to those who wait. Right now I'm in this mode where I'm not buying any games. I've been saving my money. I got a big investment coming up in October. I want to get my PlayStation VR and I want to chill and sit on that. In the meantime, I've been going through my back catalog, playing my older games, older DLC. I got at least 20 to 30 games that I've never even played. I mean, I'm talking at all. Never even booted up. You know, I may have played 10 or 20 minutes on some of these games. And I feel like the more games I buy, the more those games are going to just become stagnant. They're going to sit, collect dust, or collect hard drive space without me playing them. So to be the true gamer that I claim to be, I've decided to stifle the spending of money, needless spending, and to get on the hump and start playing these damn games. And so that's what I've been doing. And so sometimes it's good to wait. Sometimes waiting for something to see what comes around the next corner can be actually beneficial. And in this case, I feel like it truly is. Now, whether or not I get this game on release remains to be seen. Right now, I don't feel like I have to. I feel like there's a ton of great games that I already own that I still haven't even played that you guys have never even seen me play. So I got a ton of games to play, but I'm actually very happy I waited for this particular version of Rise of the Tomb Raider. And I'll drop a link in the description. Rise of the Tomb Raider on PlayStation 4 was worth waiting for, and it's superior to the Xbox One version. Rise of the Tomb Raider will be hitting the PlayStation 4 on October 11th. Since the PS4 is a more powerful system than the Xbox One, one would expect the game to run better on Sony's console. The game was shown during this year's Gamescom, and as was to be expected, it does perform noticeably better on the PS4. More importantly, however, it plays better. A new video from our friends at Digital Foundry shows that the PlayStation 4 version of Rise of the Tomb Raider runs at a lot 30 frames per second. The Xbox One game had some issues with screen tearing, frame pacing, and even some slowdown in areas with thick foliage. From the time they spent with the game, Digital Foundry didn't encounter any of those issues. The game also runs at 1080p resolution. The Xbox version ran at 1080p as well, but its cinematics ran at an unconventional 1440 by 1080p. This makes an already visually impressive game even more eye-pleasing. The most significant improvement comes with the way that the game actually plays. Rise of the Tomb Raider on the Xbox One had significant input lag, especially when it came to aiming precise weapons like bows and sniper rifles. According to the video below, the PS4 version has no input lag at all. The Xbox 360 and PC ports of the game are also free of input lag. This is no doubt due to all three of these ports being handled by Nixus software. Back when the game was announced, Square Enix said that it was targeting 30 frames, but would try to get more if it could. The developer is still sticking to the story, but why? It is entirely possible that the game will be PS4 Neo compatible. Sony has recently stated that starting with the fourth quarter, all games will have a PS4 Neo mode. Rise of the Tomb Raider comes out in October, so it would fall under this window. As great as this game will look and run on the PS4, it should perform even better on the Neo. Rise of the Tomb Raider on PlayStation 4 will come with all the previously released DLC, co-op multiplayer support, and endurance mode, and a brand new DLC mode, Blood Ties that lets players explore the Croft Mansion. This bonus section will be made available for free to the Xbox One and PC owners as well. Blood Ties will also be available on PlayStation VR with an adjusted first person viewpoint. Sometimes guys, it's good to wait. Uh, I'm excited about this game. Will I pick it up day one? Probably not. But for the value, you can't really beat that. Uh, uh, the best console version, at least, of Rise of the Tomb Raider. I'm not even gonna try to pretend to compete with the PC. I think my PC could beat a PS4. I'm using an Asus UX501 uh, and it's a very very powerful little laptop and it could probably outperform a PS4. So when it comes to you know PS4 and Xbox versus PC they're gonna lose every time but I'm excited at least being the console gamer that I am that when I do decide to get Rise of the Tomb Raider I'll have it on the, the system that actually runs it better. And if the Xbox Scorpio comes out and it runs things better than the PlayStation 4K or PlayStation Neo, whatever they want to call it, that's where I'll be getting my multi -plats. But for now, PlayStation 4 is a pretty safe bet. You guys let me know what you think in the comment section below. Let me know something. Do you guys have a huge backlog of games that you got to get to? Sometimes it's so hard to get to them, especially now. There's so many great games. I, want, I didn't even get Overwatch, and I'm just dying to play that game, but I know. If I start playing Overwatch, I won't play any of the other games that I have. It's one of those games that I feel like once I start playing, I'll probably be playing that for months. So I'm trying to get through some of my old games. Let me know if you guys go through this and how you deal with it. Because right now, damn it, I'm just playing. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give a thumbs up, show support for the channel. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter. And tell all your friends about me. I'm the Beastly Gamer. And I'll see you guys next time. Let it go. Let it go.